Ah, oh, London. What a town. History around every corner, and a tourist photographing it. Pub serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theatre and art. And multiculturalism. And the world's oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. What's our status? Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bagley? If you haven't brushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. Let us hold this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. Identifying information. Uh, ghosts in this system. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? That hurt you more than it hurt me. <sighs> They've got loads of dead set gear down here. And why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. 
Well, someone wants to make it look like DedSec was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black, anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Oh, fuck me. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Badly as that... RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. Dead-sec propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are gonna blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. of commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the centre of government. On the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. We don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, Wait. I might know a workaround. We trained in manual overrides at MI5. You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize you. So, fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counted on it. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. Fuck. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. Bagley, update. Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti-tamper security is. Still working. Back up! I need back up! Burn the cover! Ah! Get it off me! Moving to investigate. Go and check that out! Go! I understand. Oh, Bagley! Tell me you're close. Through security, now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. Guy in the Take a look. I think they were nearby. Have a look, mate. I'm going to
I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... <sighs> Bombs defused. <laughs> See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Ugly, you bastard. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fucking hell, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the Tone Conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can breach it, I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. A protocol is to wipe everything, including badly. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, ops, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. Okay, Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, if this goes... It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. with some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the great fire, the blitz. There's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Oh my god.
explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected. Mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. They attend Downing Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set. Terrorism response to air force. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of dead sec. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. A long overdue cleanup as crime numbers take a dive. Illegal gambling, drug trafficking, and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates. The streets of Camden. Mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the deployment. Fake news outlets, reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news. Conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group dead set were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply don't need any other story. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than dead sick ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think of everything. Huh? DedSec showed their true colours. Terrifying to think we harbored such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sick more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. is worse than I thought. Ah, uh, but there's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope.
Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Hmm, fine. I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. Manual override? Shouldn't be a problem. Not like I have to swear a blood oath or anything. <laughs> right? right. Yeah, I'm good.
I'll see you downstairs later then. Well, here goes nothing. Anyone home? No? Well then, let's get the power back on. No dead set registration detected. Identify yourself, or I'll seal the exit, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Good luck. I hardly drink. Besides, Sabine sent me. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DeadSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DeadSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. it. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Someone must have framed DedSec for the bombings, but who could possibly do that? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of The Upload. With Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Jesus. How did you survive? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition here would have you hunted down and shot on sight. These days, dead sex reputation isn't exactly top notch. I'd like to make London a better place, but if I was caught working with you, Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? 
can't walk away from this now. Let's get started. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec kit. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Then. Let's start with some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. Yes. Nice one. Just like that. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Yes, nice one. Gear in order? Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. 
We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle your... Okay, where do we begin? Patient. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. No wonder Albion has so much power. They've scared people into submission. So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? You bet. Let's give people something to fight for. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Albion have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. You must be joking. Do we even have a justice system anymore? I don't see how Albion owning the courts gives anyone a chance at a fair trial. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation.
Alter! What have you found, Bagley? A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here, a journalist. And this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the hell? Balls? Suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. Now, let's disrupt some of Albion's propaganda and give some hope to the people.
potentially armed and hostile. Monitoring for unusual activity. Anyone see the suspect? Oh, I'm so sick of seeing Albion's brand everywhere I look. This city isn't theirs. They need to stop acting like it is. There's going to be that much less once you're done here. Let's give Camden a break from these eyesores. Okay, I'm on it. Hijack that scissor lift. You could use it to access the rooftop. Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll...